Uh, we're going to do a short video review of the Leto Muro Allegra Queen Portrait Wall Bed with a desk in white. Uh, we ordered this from emmamason.com. Uh, in... <laughs> We ordered it uh, two months ago. They told us delivery would be three to four weeks. Uh, it was closer to two months. So if you're expecting to use this for company soon, um, don't uh, don't don't count on it. But other other than that little snafu, we were very impressed with the professional white glove delivery uh, and 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 shipping and everything. The packaging was it was very exquisitely packaged. Uh, came in four large boxes. One of them weighed close to 200 pounds. Um, the 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 irony of these wall beds is they usually you're buying these when you're low on space, and this took a lot of space to build and unpack. So build this with a friend and uh, unpack them one box at a time. Uh, the other thing, as I said, it was it was very well packaged uh, to the point where I, I used uh, eight 33-gallon trash bags to dispose of all of the um, <laughs> packaging material, plastic and styrofoam, as well as a huge stack of cardboard to recycle. So uh, uh, that was just factor that in. It was a lot of it was a lot of waste, but it was worth it to make sure that everything in this just arrived, uh, you know, without without a without a scratch. Uh, this is uh, a, definitely a two-person assembly job. Uh, and a lot of things say they're two, and you can do it with one, like Ikea dressers or something. This is definitely two people. Uh, that being said, if, if you've ever assembled uh, an Ikea dresser or something like that before, this isn't that much more complicated. I know a lot of people saying, oh, this was really tough to build. Uh, not, not to me. Uh, my friend and I did this in about two or three hours uh, start to finish. Uh, and it really, once you, the great thing about this, one of the great things about this piece was they actually give you two sets of instructions. So both of us could read these and make sure that we were doing uh, everything correctly. Um, so definitely read the instructions a few times to make sure you're doing it right. Uh, these front three handles, in some of the pictures, they look very dark. They're actually kind of more of a polished stainless look here. Uh, we were afraid we were going to have to replace them for like 20 bucks from, you know, a big box store or something, but they actually go well with, with everything else in the room. Uh, the desk here is, is, is not as deep as a, as a work desk. You know, it might only be about 16, 18 inches deep, but it's, it's perfect for a guest to use for writing or laptop work, uh, or as a sideboard for parties, uh, to, to put food on or something. Uh, if you're going to put food on this, make sure you protect the finish. Uh, overall, um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit on this desk portion, but otherwise it's, it, it, I feel like it can hold a lot of stuff. Of course, you have to make sure that you don't put anything on it that you're not going to remove or you open it over like this height because it will get knocked over or crushed, uh, when you, when you open the bed. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, other, overall, I'm, I'm very, I feel like this is a you know a very well made sturdy bed. I was like I said I was impressed with the packaging. The material finish is is very solid, very smooth, uh, great hardware, overall build quality and and functionality. This thing is very sturdy, uh, and I and I I and the short version is here. I'd I'd recommend it to to friends, and I'd probably buy it again if I needed a another another wall bed like this. We uh, we paired this uh, Murphy wall bed with some I cheap IKEA nightstands that seem to go well with the room, uh, and, a, and a desk chair that, that we leave in front of it. Uh, that also from IKEA, yeah IKEA. If, if, man, if IKEA had something like this, it'd be we would have got it from there. But I don't know how we would have gotten it home. So fortunately, that that free white glove delivery. Uh, thank goodness for that. Uh, the one met, there were a lot of. Uh, helpful measurements on the emmamason.com website for this bed, but nobody could tell us uh, as far as an arc opening arc path of whether or not this bed would interfere with a ceiling fan. And I had a hunch that based on this 54 inch fan I put in here, that this bed would hit the fan on the way down, and my hunch was correct. Um, fortunately, the bed locks. And I can make sure that I'm the only person opening it. So if as long as I have the fan off and the blades in kind of this askew position, it won't interfere. 
So if you're considering buying this and worried about uh, interference of the motion of the bed with a ceiling fan, um, the best piece of advice I could do is take a piece of string, connect it to the, 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 the bottom of the wall, and measure it out about 95 inches. And if you, if you take the piece of string and measure and move it up in the arc path from the floor to the ceiling, uh, that would be a good indicator of, of as far as a simple way to determine uh, we're, we're fine with interference as far as ceiling fans or other decorations or if, uh, if you're or if you might have to take some drastic action like get a smaller ceiling fan or just make sure you can turn it off so that was hopefully that'll help people uh, so we're gonna I'll, I'll open this bed up and show you so as you can see here's the lock you turn it the lock comes open and you grab a handle and you pull and it's very the 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 hydraulics are four hydraulic arms that are very well counterbalanced not worried at all as you can see the bed kind of slowly folds down based on based on those uh, little arms and the hinges it's on and then there's a I'm trying to do this one-handed so I'm going to pull the pull the foot down here uh, so here's here's the there's the foot and we're down. So normally this is a two-arm job and it goes pretty smoothly. Uh, the, the feet lock down like that, this, arm, this foot arm. So I'm going to, I'll leave it unlocked for now. Uh, speaking of this foot, I know in the middle of the night, myself or a, a guest is going to stub their toe on this. And I just can feel it hurting right now. So what I did do, and it's not on here yet, is I found some white foam padding in a U shape that I can put over this, uh, si very similar or rather the exact same product that that you would use to baby proof a uh, baby proof a coffee table. So that's uh, so that's what I'm going to do there. So that's that's a that's a quip for that one. Uh, this is a a standard queen kind of foam mattress bed, uh, one of the popular ones you've probably seen a lot of commercials for. Um, and it it it's a it's it, it it fits on this frame nicely. This is just a kind of a, a waterproof, breathable mattress pad that that we left on there. Um, uh, so that's how how easily it opens. As you can see, the desk kind of folds from perpendicular to parallel, and nice smooth motion with those arms. So my wife and I did stay on this bed just to try it out and break it in the the very first night we had it, and it was it was pretty comfortable. This bed was very sturdy. I wouldn't jump on it, but you could certainly stand on it. Um, the weird, it was weird to have uh, this this gap the behind your head of, of about eight or ten inches uh, instead of having a headboard. Um, this pony wall right here on each side uh, kind of makes it awkward to reach anything on the nightstand, um, but that's just part of you know, the, the, I think the structural, structural integrity that this thing needs, and it, it makes it look good when the bed is folded up. And, you know, you don't want your guest to be uh, too comfortable, right? So I wouldn't call those, those two things uh, deal breakers. Um, <clears throat> so here's the other interesting thing about the installation of this guy. So the minimum height on the website for this bed is 96 inches or 8 feet. My ceiling here is 96 and a half inches so technically it fits it's above the minimum now the very unfortunately the very last step of this of this bed build is to put some L brackets on the top of this crown piece uh, that that uh, attach the crown to wall studs behind the bed um, that gap above the crown here is about eh, two or three inches and I could not get my hand up there if I wanted to to actually drill uh, holes and, and screw in those L brackets. So what I did instead was use four evenly spaced, fortunately I knew where the studs were, but these are four uh, number 14 four inch wood screws with some finishing washers. Uh, I, I moved them about three or four inches up from the, from the, bottom, of the, from the bottom of this back piece, uh, pre-drilled some good pilot holes, and uh, drove them into some studs. So they, they actually, <laughs> given, since there was already a bunch of exposed hardware, these locking pieces that lock all the pieces together here, I figured, well, these, these screws wouldn't, wouldn't, you know, look, look too bad. 
Um, I also, what you have, if you have to do this, uh, if you can kind of see, I had to put some wood spacing under or behind this back piece uh, between the wall and the bed just to make sure that uh, everything was solid. So this bed does not move. So other than that weird, under other than that caveat of 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 spacing along the top to to fix it, uh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, so that is that is essentially this wall bed. Um, we we loved it as as long as you have enough room to to open it and uh, and get around. It's it it was it was an easy build. Uh, it's very sturdy. I think it was I think it was worth the money. Uh, again, I wish I, I wish the uh, ha, I wish the delivery had been um, again. Professional delivery company, very good delivery service. They brought it right into this room, and all we had to do was open it and put the pieces together. I just wish they had told us two months of delivery instead of three to four weeks, and uh, and that would have kind of helped our plans a bit. So, uh, I, uh, I you know, if you're considering uh, this Leto Muro Allegra Queen wall bed, um, I, I hope this helps you make your purchase decision. If you have any more questions as far as measurement or the build process, uh, feel free to leave a message in the comments and I'll, and I'll try to do my best to get you an answer. Um, happy shopping. Good luck building this thing.